What is up guys, Chris here with another 717 Tech where I do vlogging and tech reviews just like this. So make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos. Alright, let's get into it. Unboxing the Google Home Mini. A little tab here. Ooh, a bunch of plastic. I mean, the Google Home Mini is basically their version of the Amazon Echo Dot. It's a lot cheaper than the regular Google Home. The Google Home comes in at about $130, whereas the Mini comes in at about $50. And there it is. Whoa, that could have been bad. But I got the charcoal gray it comes in a chalk color and a coral color as well but there's the mini let's see what else do we have in here your let's get started booklet instructions get to know your google home mini yeah, bunch of instructions. And down here we've got your AC adapter. What else is in here? Nothing. That's it. You get your Google Home Mini, your AC adapter, and your instructions. Let's plug it in and see how it works out. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. All right, so since I've already got the Google Home app, let's just go ahead and right in there. And then we'll click on one device found, set up. Google Home Mini found. Would you like to set up this device? Yes, I would. Connecting to Google Home Mini, your phone may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup. Hey, there we go, we're connected. Do you hear the sound? Yes. Where is this device? Um, I don't quite exactly know where I'm going to put this. So, let's just go with Office, because that's where we're at now. Yes. Okay. In case you guys didn't see... Um, I connected it to my internet connection, and there we go. It's connected. Google Home Mini is powered by the Google Assistant. Ask it questions, tell it to do things. It's always ready to help. Well, we will be doing that, Google. Teach the Assistant to recognize your voice. Your Assistant will use your voice to access other personal results. Yeah, I'm in. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Getting your assistant ready. Your assistant will give you personalized results on this device when it recognizes your voice. Okay guys, I came to the bedroom to test it out a little bit. I've got my Harmony set up right there and I've got a Philips Hue light strip behind the TV. So let's test it out. Hey Google, theater on. Sure thing. Hey, awesome. Okay, so it works with Harmony and the Philips Hue, which is expected because the normal Google Home does. All right, guys, so there was that little test. Let's take it through some more. Hey, Google, play music. Playing some music on YouTube. The speaker is actually pretty nice. Definitely more than what I expected. Hey Google. How's traffic to work? On your way to work, traffic is light as usual. It is 23 minutes by car. Hey Google. Who am I? You said your name is Chris. Now as far as touch controls go, you can no longer use the top of it. That's gone. Instead, 
what you do is to change the volume, you would either press the right side of it to turn it up or the left side of it to turn it down. Now, if you want to factory reset it, there is a little button up at the top here that you would press and hold. And right over here is a little switch that will mute the mic or unmute the mic. And if you have an alarm or a timer going off, you can touch the top of it, but you cannot touch the top of it to start any kind of activity or request. And if you want to turn the power off on it, all you have to do is unplug the cord. So there you guys have it. A quick little rundown of the new Google Home Mini. It works with all the same products that the normal Google Home works with as far as LifeX, uh, Harmony, Philips Hue, and all the rest. And it comes in at almost a third of the price so it's not a bad deal but make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one or not if you don't want to but I'll see you guys next time